Hello, this is Michael Stanton from Supersportmotors.com, right here in historic Clinton, New York, zip code 13323. I am located about four hours northwest of New York City, right in the center of New York State. And I just recently took this incredible Riviera in on trade about a week ago, and I'm doing a video today here in late autumn before she gets stored away for the winter, and it's going to be for sale. So, 1965 Buick Riviera Grand Sport. An absolutely stunning car, and for those of you who know Rivieras, you know exactly what you're looking at. You're looking at the best year Riviera ever made, in the opinion of just about everybody in the Riviera world. I've had quite a few of these. One of my daily drivers is a 72 Boatail, and I love these things. Beautiful. This car originally came with a 425 cubic inch dual quad carb. That engine apparently blew up when this car was in its infancy and the uh, engine from a 1970 Buick Riviera was put in and so it's got a 455 it has the non numbers matching non original engine in this car all you've got to do if you want to put this back to original status is of course find a 1965 Buick Riviera 425 and put it back in it's not that difficult to do the good news is it hurts the value of this car for you that is so you can buy this car for less than it would be if it was completely correct so I would classify this car as an extremely high-end driver you can drive it anywhere it runs and drives beautiful the engine only has 6,000 miles on it from the rebuild so it's in fantastic shape everything works real good on it except the radio and the antenna clamshells work real nice clamshells are what we call the headlights on the outside I'll turn them on here before we uh, end this video so the paint is, uh, I don't know the actual name of it, but in my ad I'll put photos of everything, including the data plate. It is a very, very dark green with a tinge of blue in it. So you can probably tell that here. So if you look up at those pine trees, obviously green, you can see how it has a tinge of blue in it. But I would call it a very, very dark moss green. So again, it's a Grand Sport. Excellent shape, excellent driving. It really drives nice, to be honest with you. There's the interior. Very, very nice shape. All nice dashboard. No cracks. The seats are in basically new condition. They really are. No rips, no tears, no fading, no hardness to them, nothing. All the wood grains in nice shape. Really, really nice inside. Let's hope I have the keys in my pocket so I can pop the trunk here. But the carpets, too, if you can get that. Let me see if I can. Got the wooden steering wheel. Really nice carpets. I'll tell you what, it really does drive good. It's peppy. Very ought to be with a 455, right? So, let's go and look in the trunk here. By the way, before I do that, let's get a close up of the paint. There's a few flaws in the paint here or there, but overall, it's in very, very nice shape. A couple of marks here and there, a couple of little scratches, but overall, I'd say a good solid 8.5 out of 10. Nice reflections all the way through. And I'm also filming this here, not on the best time of year. Lack of light in December and all. So here's your trunk. There's a Buick service manual, 1965. Quite certain that's not the original carpet because it is absolutely flawless and perfect. But if you can see it, it's in really nice shape in the trunk. Really beautiful. As well as the underside of the trunk lid. So, let me recap for you. Well, let's put these, uh, let's open up the clamshells here because they look awfully good. I probably need the keys in the ignition. There's your view of the hood, by the way, when you're cruising down the road. Can't beat that. While we're here, we'll get a nice close up of everything. Like I said, the antenna's not going up and down, but it goes up very easily by hand. And the radio's not working. But everything else is nice. Let's get a 
close up of the rims here as well. Very nice shape. And those hand cooked tires are actually really nice. Hand cooked H724s. There's what it looks like with the clamshells open. Those are the courtesy lights. I'm sorry, the marker lights underneath. So let's put on the brights. Little red dot there lights up when you put the brights on. I will consider all trades. I buy and sell cars for fun. Hobby of mine. Been doing it for close to 35 years. Just fun. I figure if I make this a living, it's not going to be fun anymore. And that's the only reason I take trades. Hence, the reason I have this car. I took a trade. Otherwise, how am I going to get my hands on a Buick Riviera GS from 1965? I've worn one forever. There it is. So I currently have two of these for sale. I've got a 64 Riviera for sale as well. I will pop the hood here for a second show you the engine. So my number is 315-725-1966. If you go to supersportmotors.com, that's me, and I probably have 100 photos on here in the video as well phone number don't text me I don't do text messaging you're welcome to email me but if you want to get a hold of me the best way is to just call me the Florida plate is there just for looks it's not from Florida it's an antique plate of mine it looks good in the car so I decided to photograph it in the video today with that plate on so for those of you who know me you'll see my videos all over YouTube you can just go in there and type in my name I think Michael Stanton and I'll pop up But when I sell them, I put right in the subject line, sold. So if it doesn't say sold, it's not sold. These cars are hard to come by. So I would classify this car as an 8 out of 10, a very, very high quality driver, mainly because the engine was changed. So if you want something to drive on an everyday basis and tinker with a little bit, fix that radio, fix that antenna, there you have it. The looks this car get is unbelievable. I believe this car gets more looks than my 68 Shelby that I cruised down the road with and you'd think a Shelby would get more looks than these but <laughs> it's got to be that color and those crazy headlights and I'll tell you what look up the book value on a full-blown correct 65 GS and it's sixty five thousand dollars through nadaguides.com 65 grand is the value of this car approaching values of Shelby Mustangs themselves so and there's a reason for that of all the years Riviera, of all the Riviera years, that is, this is the one to have, and everybody knows it. So again, Michael Stanton, 315-725-1966. I'll consider trades, but most likely it's just going to get sold to the person I make a deal with. All right, and i got to tell you, that color is just outstanding. It's too bad I'm not filming this in a better weather day, but as we know, in December... You're limited in your choices, but it does reflect nicely up all the trees in the background. And whoever gets this car is going to be very pleased. Thank you very much. I'll stand back here once more and go around it. And I'll write up as much as I can on my website as well. To make everybody's mouth waters. Everybody's mouth water, that is. Thank you very much.